Hi guys, how are you? I'm Tina and today I'm going to show you 10 ways to curl your hair. You guys can use any kind of curling iron of your choice, but the one I'm going to use today is called the Wave Maker by Glow Pro. This is an oval shaped curling iron, therefore your curls are going to be curls but not fat curls. It's going to be flattened curls, meaning it's in between a curling iron and a flat iron. So it's really interesting. So I'm going to show you how to use this as well. So I'm going to use my favorite dry shampoo, not dry shampoo, dry oil by Alterna as a heat protectant. And by the way, this came with the glove, but I lost it already. It seems to be the case with every curling iron I get. So I'm going to grab a small piece right here. And for this method, we're going to smooth it first. And then we're going to keep the curling iron parallel to the floor. Wrap it neatly around the curling iron without twisting or doing anything crazy. And then I'm going to leave some of the ends out. But if you guys want a clean look, you can also just wrap the ends around the barrel as well. And you're going to hold it for 10 to 15 seconds depending on how thick your hair is. 12, 13, 14, 15. Slide the hair out. Then you can either let it cool down for five seconds in your hands or just clip it so you can move on to the next section. And since I do want this to look pretty decent at the end because I do have to wear this hair for about three days, so I'm going to make maybe the bottom the same. So as this loosens up, it's going to become more finger wavish, not curls like this. And this next one is something that everyone already knows how to do because it seems to have become the standard. Brush it out and wrap it in a spiral formation and twist it. Twist and leave out the ends. And unlike the bottom curls, I'm not going to pin this up because I want this to be loose. Let it cool off about 5 seconds before you release it. I'm gonna do the same on this side as well. Okay, so I think that was 10 minutes. I mean, 10 seconds. <laughs> you compare the vintage waves, the beach waves. Vintage, beach. So here we go. We're going to wrap it cleanly around the barrel twice. Fail. Let's do it again. The iron twice. You're going to hold this for 10 seconds, so then you're going to release it. Then we're going to curl it upwards for 10 seconds. But notice you're not going to create tension at the top because if you pull on it, you're going to straighten out the wave. And then you're going to slowly glide it down so you can heat up the ends as well. I want you guys to check out the second curl we made. You see how the edges are sharper here, but here it's smooth as if you use a curling iron. One, two, and make sure there are gaps between the hair. And we're gonna hold it like that for about 10 seconds. And we're gonna slide it down, release tension so we don't straighten out the uh, waves at the top. Then release. For this next one, I'm going to show you how to make tight curls using big curling iron. First spray on some heat protectant and then I'm going to heat it up with the curling iron and you can do it any way you want. And then I'm going to wrap it against one finger and then pin it with a clip. We're going to let this cool off and then remove it to get really tight curls. So here is tight curl. take all of this and just heat it with your curling iron. All right, so after you heat it up, first of all, smooth it really fast, then wrap it against four fingers and pin. So we don't want curls for this. We just want this to have a bit of a bounce. I'm gonna put some hairspray. 
let this cool off. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove this out. Get these loose waves. It looks like I used a round brush to um, get these waves. So you don't really have to do your whole head like that. Just do the crown and it makes it look like you blew out your whole head. Now I'm going to recurl this hair so that it matches with the rest of these curls. that I just put all of my hair into this ponytail and then we're just gonna grab small sections from the ponytail and then curl it and that will speed things up for you so I'm gonna grab this whole section right here heat it up with this curling iron so this is just like the um, ponytail hack method oh god I think this is turned off and then I'm going to wrap it around this curling iron just to heat it up because the point of this is to make it hot. Then wrap it around with one finger. Let's do one finger because I'm trying to make this curly here. And then we're going to pin this down. Okay, so let me remove this. I'm going to show you. And if you guys don't want your curls to be too curly, what you do is just slide it down and that will loosen up your curls. You see? So again, I'm going to wrap this away from my face, create gaps between the hair, then I'm gonna hold this for about 10 seconds, and then I'm going to slide it down slowly so it loosens up the curl. Okay? I do my bangs is I always curl it under until I get to about my cheekbones so I will go smooth it down like this then as soon as it gets to my cheeks I'm going to flip it out I always want the ends to flip outwards another way I do it is I smooth out the bangs and then again I'm going to curl it under until I get to about my cheekbones then from my cheekbones, I'm going to flip it out. And that works too. Okay. Now to finish, I'm going to use my hair serum by BioSilk. And we're done! Thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked it, be sure to thumbs up. And subscribe for more hair tutorials. And I'll see you guys again next week. I love you guys.